of gratitude by Nefertari or a lion. Let us give her a warm of applause. To our school administrator, Sister Marianita J. Senya, UMSH. To our school principal, Sister Lagon Missy Buslon. To our teachers, parents, and to my fellow graduates, a pleasant afternoon. This is a milestone for us, the grade 6 students, as we exceed elementary level and step forward to high school. The six years we spent in SJCC have left us with many memories, both bad and good. Our elementary days was surely a learning experience. The confidence and motivation it gave us. Most importantly, it is the place where we recognize our uniqueness and individuality. Our elementary days is no less than a treasure for us, which gave us invaluable joys in life. It is moment like this, not only the more tangible academic, sporting, and cultural moments that are normally evident, when we are again reminded of what makes SJCC so special. The moments are seemingly unimportant, magical, and many, but they happen every day at SJCC. Young as I am today, I can say that failures and trials should not be the reason for us to say no and never try to do something. Rather, let us make them an inspiration to do better. Let them strengthen our character. And before we finally leave St. Joseph's School, on behalf of my batchmates, we would like to thank the person who have turned us to what we are now. To our beloved parents, thank you for helping us to shape our life with passion and complete positivity. Without your presence, we would have never imagined being a person we are today. We cannot repay you for your extreme support, but all we can do is give you a lot of love. To my supportive family, especially my auntie, I know I don't say thank you as often as I should, so thank you for all of the things you have done for me. Thank you for being one of the most supportive, reliable, and most kind-hearted women I know. Alongside my mom, you have been such a wonderful role model to me. Thank you for always treating me like I was one of your own. Even though you have your hand full with my cousins, I always felt like I just fit right in. I hope you know that you are such a beautiful person and you truly deserve all the wonderful things in this world. To our teachers, thank you for your endless sacrifices and selfless services. You have worked hard night and day to solve a particular student's problems. Thank you for all of the supports I got from you. You will always have a special place in my heart. The teachers are our guardians right after our parents. They scold us when we are wrong and support us when we are right. They know what is best for us. Though, at that time, we may feel it's unfair. But as we grow up, we start to understand the real world. We also realize that our teachers always had the best interests of us in mind. Thank you very much for the, for the opportunities you have given us to develop our full potentials and abilities. To our teachers, especially my teacher advisor, we owe you a lot. To my friends and classmates, we are about to part ways to find the right track that lies ahead. We will forever cherish the memories of both laughter and pain we shared together. Learning in the new normal is a big challenge for all of us. We have deadlines to meet. We even have to break our daily routine for this new normal setup. But even though we may be miles apart, we will always be there in one accord chasing the impossible dreams that are planned for us. To all of you who help us to become what we are right now, I wholeheartedly thank you and express my gratitude. Every drop in the ocean counts and I would never forget those who helped me sail through troubled waters for they deserve a part of this reward. Above all, our Almighty Father who have gave us the gift of life and wisdom. We sincerely pray that you'll continuously guide us as we choose the path to our success. My dear fellow Yusafians, 
I am positive that our knowledge, talents, skills, and distinct personalities as a student community will be flourished through the education that we are bound to create and consume in the coming school years. We may be different in a lot of ways, but with a united spirit, our diversity will not be a hindrance to our academic goals because of our strong determination to put our best in everything that we do. As we seal this unforgettable chapter of our academic life, allow me to congratulate you all for all of the accomplishments that, you, that we have obtained out of our daily undertakings in school. Our victory is also our school and family success. Let us always be reminded that our education is a gift and we should never take it for granted. Let us use it to be a blessing to others. May the Lord bless our future academic life. Once again, thank you and congratulations, my dear fellow graduates. Thank you so much to prepare me for that heartfelt message. Persistence and perseverance are some of the key factors for the success of the